Random thoughts, random rants, another one, another one, can't stand that cocksucker, uh, good lord, I'm already cussing, this time, I want to be specific, my favorite mixtapes of all time, now, I'm all over the place, who gives a damn, you clicked on it, hit the like, share, subscribe, what have you, favorite mixtapes, I got to say, Mr. C, that bussy bandit, he did a mixtape. I believe this mixtape was 95, and it was called The Best of Biggie. This tape is fire. It had, like, it had his freestyles with Pudgy the Fat Bastard. Whatever happened to him? Think Big? Oh, my God. That's one of the best Biggie songs with Pudgy the Fat Bastard. Is that the best rapper name? Pudgy the Fat Bastard. <sighs> what happened to him? Fire. They had um his record with um R. A. the Rugged Man, Cunt Renaissance. They had that record, um, Men Are All Dogs. Uh, that might be the funniest rap song of all time. I gotta I gotta break down on that song. That might be the funniest rap song of all time. Um You know, they had the the Dolly My Baby, they had his verses with Mary J on what's the 411, I believe. You know, they had uh, you know, Juicy, One More Chance. They had they had uh th- Yeah, this had to be this had to be 95 cuz they had uh Yeah, Can't You See with Total, Just Fire. They had Let's Get It On with Tupac and um Heavy D. They had a uh, Who's on the microphone? A bunch of niggas. They man, it just um that that New York hip hop, 90, 92, 93, th- those years, man, they, those years is like precious years, 92, 93, that was the era of like trying to say the most craziest shit and like you still had like Heavy D was big and like, it, like, like before like Biggie really blew up and Nas blew up and Mob Deep. That like ninety two ninety three when like the East Coast was like Naughty by Nature, Heavy D, uh, Lords of the Underground had Chief Rocker, and then they had later on they had like What I'm After and Never Faded, like Black Moon, like oh my God, that that's that that period, you know, right in like the EPMD Eric B Rakim breaking up period, but then you had like you know Nas is halftime and 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 he had. He had a, uh, you know, live at the barbecue like that. Ninety two, ninety three, New York. Oh my God, that's that's a beautiful era. It does not get talked about enough. You know, people who don't know anything about hip hop have this idea that the East Coast was dead until ninety four. Like, no, it was when when Snoop Dogg and Dr. Dre were huge in like ninety two, ninety three. You can argue that Tretch and Naughty by Nature were just as big, if not bigger. There was a time when Naughty by Nature was the biggest shit in rap. They were on, they were on, they, they, MTV took their music and they were literally playing, like, Naughty by Nature's music was like the soundtrack of MTV commercials and the bumpers and all that stuff. You know, the NBA, the NBA was using OPP and they were using the records, you know, they had Uptown Anthem on the Juice soundtrack, like... There was a time when the number one rapper on earth was Tretch. There was a time. Tretch is one of the greatest. He never gets his credit. Tretch is one of the greatest. He he might be one... Well, not even might. Tretch is one of the most difficult rappers to rap along to his shit. Like, that shit is impossible. Um, But this Biggie mixtape is fire. This might be the best mixtape I ever heard. Um, Springtime Stick Up, DJ Clue. I believe this was 96... Uh, I gotta I gotta look through these tapes more. This is just random thoughts. But Springtime Stick Up, it had um MOPs on this. I believe um there might I'm trying to th- I'm trying to think. Was there like a Q tip freestyle on here? But Springtime Stick Up, it had um it had that record with uh Mace, the locks, Herb McGruff, um Oh my god, what was that record called? Oh my god, what was that record called? I cannot remember. It was McGruff, Locks, and Mace. On the beginning, Mace is like, when I get locked up, I want to get comfortable with niggas. Pause. <laughs> I think, it was, well, what was it What was it called? It was something money. Oh, my God. I can't remember. It was fire. 
Sheik Leach was, Sheik Luch was like, something, something. Then we run from police like track meets. Like, oh my God. It's fire. What is that record? Um, Other mixtapes. You know, the Clue tapes is, you know, the great ones from 2000. Um, Obviously, like Clue for President, you know, his series and stuff like that. DJ Clue, he really fell off in like, like after like oh, Clue, f- he fell off in like oh two. Like after like two thousand one, he really fell off. But even by that point, he was kind of like mainstream. Mixtape is, is an underground niche, so he was he was like finished. After like to me, oh one's like the last big year of DJ Clue, and then like oh two on, it was like you know, K Slay. Um, I guess like Cutmaster C was probably still putting stuff. Um, you know, favorite mixtapes. Um, this is a this is like a long ass mixtape, so I cannot put it. I have not heard the whole thing, but Tony Touch Fifty MCs. It had that monumental cannabis freestyle over the Jodeci Ghostface uh, Freaking You remix. That's when cannabis was like um. I'm the greatest scientifically inclined mind since Einstein. Like, oh, I, oh my God, that, that freestyle is fire. I got metaphors. He said, he, Cannabis said, I got metaphors uh, a, a Charlie horse couldn't put a cramp in. Like, oh my God. Just, can't, 97 Cannabis is like the greatest shit. Um, Funk Flex mixtape, the volume three. Uh, I think it was, what was it called? Funk Volume 3? Whatever it was, Funk Flex Volume 3. That is like a, that is like a five mic mixtape. He had, he had DMX, Jay-Z. That's when Jay-Z had the stages and lights freestyle over the Sadat X beat. Um, oh my God, that Funk Flex Volume 3, that shit is fire. He had everybody on earth on that tape. Um, I love, you know, I, I love the 50 Cent Guess Who's Back. To me, the to me the uh, like the the two greatest Fifty Cent songs ever are are on uh, Guess Who's Back, You Not Like Me and Fuck You. Um, if you get shot and run to the cops, you not like me. That, man, that's fire. Um, this is when he returned with his new voice after getting shot. You know, I love the Fifty Cent is the Future mixtape. You know, this is when he introduces G Unit. You know, uh, God's Plan. Uh, no mercy, no fear. Classic mixtapes. Um, uh, the uh, an- another G Unit one. When they got game, they put out a mixtape called All Eyes on Us. Fire, fire. They had the freestyle over the um. Was it Anthony Hamilton? Was it was it? It wasn't Charlene. What was the other one? There was some. There was some big Anthony Hamilton song. And they were freestyling off that. Um, the I'll Be Around, CeeLo, they freestyled over that. Those those G-Unit mixtapes is just classic. Um, you know, in my high school years, this is 2010, I loved the Nipsey Hustle, the first marathon mixtape. Fire. I Don't Give a Fuck, uh, A Million fire mixtape that mixtape is like four and a half mics maybe five mics to me um my favorite mixtapes my favorite not yours mine uh (laughs) um vlad tv that colonizer but the best first of all the best thing vlad tv ever did is when he made the the tupac rap phenomenon part two that oh my god he put tupac vocals over like i think still dre and and, 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 uh, uh, what, what was that? What was that? Uh, hip hop by dead Prez And I think like all them beats that were hot at the time. Uh, I think hate me now fire. That was the greatest thing Vlad TV ever did. Everything else. Fuck them. Um, what, what else? What else? I'm trying to think. Um, I guess, I think technically the Machiavelli album was supposed to be a mixtape, like the three day version. So if you want to count the three day version, fire mixtape. Um, I'm trying to trying to think, trying to think, trying to think. Um, a lot of those J Electronica ones, you know, what the fuck is a J Electronica? Uh, Style Wars. 
you know, Jay, Jay Electronica, man, that, he, he's he's a legend. He, he's a legend. I don't care what no one says. I don't give. I I never I never cared about Killer Priest. He never like a lot of them. You know what? That, this is another video. I, a lot of them Wu Tang niggas is overrated, man. Uh, Wu Tang is just overrated. Period. The, the movement is legendary, but as a group, they got like two good albums. As a group, when you talk about the group, you're not counting Cuban Links and Liquid Swords. No, a group. We're not counting solo albums. If if you count every single thing they ever done, yes, they're like the greatest movement ever. But as a group, simply the nine members and their albums, they got two good albums. Everything else is shit or passable, not impactful. And a lot of them affiliates is like, come on, man, there's too many niggas, man. Sons of Man. I, I like Shaheen, but eh, you know, it's, it's too many. I, L Lot of Dark Man was nice. I, you know what? I gotta re I gotta review his album, Lot of the Dark Man. I got a freestyle over one of his beats. I forget which one it's called. I did a freestyle called Space Fire. Link in the description of my music. But um, a, a lot of the Wu Tang niggas is just overrated. Um, <laughs> oh, oh, here here comes the dislikes from the man worshippers. Oh, l let's not talk about Ghostface Nutmeg again. But um, favorite mixtapes. What what else? What else? What else? Uh, 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 let me let me think. I'm trying to think. Damn. I guess the um was wasn't that Dame Dash. Rockefeller Presents, wasn't that a mixtape where they had, um, Kanye did Champions, it had like, you know, they took the, they took the Freddie Mercury Champions, uh, We Are the Champions, and they had like Twista and Cameron, was that a, was that a mixtape or was that like a retail album, I, I don't know, but, um, uh, I think that one had, didn't, didn't that have one for Petey Crack on it, um, I'm trying to think, best, what other, what other great mixtapes, mine, not yours, uh, let me see. Would you would you count Nas Lost Tapes as mixtapes? To me, Nostradamus is a mixtape that they just put out like a fake album. I already talked about that in the previous Nas Jay-Z video. Look that video up. Nas, uh, look up the latest video on my channel, Jay-Z's Obsession with Nas. And uh, right now, I'm sure as soon as I hit stop, I'll be thinking of mixtapes. But random thoughts, unprofessional, unedited, who gives a damn? Like, share, maybe comment. I don't know. If you're gonna comment, people, people on this internet, they don't say. The point of a comment section is not. Well, you just say anything. No, you leave a comment if it's something of meaning. People don't do that. But um, like, share, maybe comment, subscribe. Hit the link in the cash app. The, the link. Uh, hit the description with the cash app. Description of my music. That is it.